Operating System An operating system, OS, is an interface between a computer user and computer hardware. An operating system is a software that performs all the basic tasks like file management, memory management, process management, handling input and output, and controlling peripheral devices such as disk drives and printers. Roles of Operating System Providing a user interface To control and coordinate peripheral devices such as printers, screens, disk drives to help the application program execute its instruction. To help the user to develop programs. To monitor the use of the resources of the machine. Managing the computer's memory. Managing the hardware. Backup and recovery is possible. Functions of Operating System Input-Output Management Input-Output or I.O. refers to the communication between the information processing system, such as computer, and user. The user interacts with machine by providing information through I.O. devices. The task of managing various input-output devices such as keyboard, mouse, monitor, and printer has to be done by OS. The OS, without the intervention of the user program, should handle I.O. devices uniformly. Process Management It manages the processes running in a computer system. A process is a program that is being currently run on a computer system. During execution, a process needs certain resources such as CPU time, memory space, files, and I.O. devices. So. OS manages the process running in a computer system. For example, a word processor application program such as MS Word runs as a process in a computer system. File Management It manages the files and directories of a computer system. A file can be defined as a collection of information or data that is stored in the memory of a computer system. All computer systems store, retrieve, and share information. A computer stores information in units, called files. Every file has a unique name. Process read information from files and creates new files for storing newly generated information. An OS allows us to create, modify, save, delete, protect, share, naming files in a computer system. Device Management This function of OS deals with the management of peripheral devices, such as printer, mouse, and keyboard attached to a computer system. An OS interacts with the hardware devices through specific device drivers. The main task of OS is to manage I.O. operation performed by end users. Security Management Computer systems often store a large amount of information, some of which are highly sensitive and valuable to their users. Users can trust a computer system if its various resources and information stored in it are protected against destruction and unauthorized access. An OS uses various techniques such as authentication, authorization for ensuring the security of a computer system. Memory Management It manages the memory resources of a computer system. There are various memory resources of a computer system including primary memory, RAM, and secondary memory like hard disk and compact disk. All the programs are loaded in the main memory before their execution. Memory management is the function of the operating system to determine how much memory should be provided to each process. 7. User Interface A user interface is the part of an operating system, program, or device that the user uses to input and receive data.
Virtual Storage Virtual memory is a common part of most OS on desktop computers. The OS cannot load a process in a system whose main memory size is less than the total memory required by the process. Virtual memory is a memory management scheme that overcomes the limitation by allowing the execution of a process without the need to load the process in the main memory completely. This process can execute even if it is loaded in memory partially. Timesharing system A timesharing system allows many users to share computer resources simultaneously. In other words, time sharing refers to the allocation of computer resources in time slots to several programs simultaneously. A timeshared system uses CPU scheduling and multi-programming to provide each user with a small portion of timeshared computers. It allows many users to share computer resources simultaneously. The OS allocates a set of time to each user. As the system switches, a short time slot is given to each user for their execution. Types of operating system based on user interface Graphical user interface, GUI a graphics-based operating system interface that uses icons, menus, and a mouse to click on the icon or pull down the menus to manage interaction with the system. It is a friendly visual environment that allows the user to perform any action without having to have programming knowledge. An example of the GUI are the Windows, Mac OS, or Android environments, thanks to which commands can be sent through gestures or mouse movements without the need to enter any code. Command User Interface, CUI slash CLI slash TUI A command line interface, CLI, is a text-based user interface, UI, used to run programs, manage computer files and interact with the computer. Command line interfaces are also called command line user interfaces, console user interfaces and character user interfaces. Differentiate between GUI and TUI. Based on user mode. Single user operating system. An operating system that allows a single user to perform only one task at a time is called a single user single tasking operating system. Functions like printing a document, downloading images, etc., can be performed only one at a time. Examples include MS DOS, Palm OS, etc. Multi-User Operating System A multi-user operating system allows the permission of multiple users for accessing a single machine at a time. The various personal computers can send and receive information to the mainframe computer system. Thus, the mainframe computer acts as the server and other personal computers act as clients for that server. Based on processing method Batch Processing Operating System A batch processing operating system, POSE, is a computer operating system that processes large amounts of data in batches. This type of system is typically used by businesses and organizations that need to process large amounts of data quickly and efficiently. The batch processing OS systems are capable of executing only one job at a time. 
The jobs or the programs submitted by different users are grouped into batches and one batch of the job is provided as input to the computer system at a time. Multiprocessing Operating System A computer's capability to process more than one task simultaneously is called multiprocessing. A multiprocessing operating system is capable of running many programs simultaneously, and most modern network operating systems, NASAs, support multiprocessing. These operating systems include Windows Northern Territory, 2000, XP, and Unix. Time-Sharing Operating System The time-sharing operating system is a type of operating system in which the user can perform more than one task and each task gets the same amount of time to execute. It is also called a multitasking operating system. Time-sharing is a technique that enables many people, located at various terminals, to use a particular computer system at the same time. Time-sharing system designed to enable many users to interact with the computer system at the same time by using a terminal keyboard and display device. Real-time operating system A real-time operating system, RTUS, is an OS that guarantees real-time applications a certain capability within a specified deadline. Routines are designed for critical systems and for devices like microcontrollers that are timing specific. Routines processing time requirements are measured in milliseconds. Examples of the real time operating systems airline traffic control systems, command control systems, airlines reservation system, heart pacemaker, network multimedia systems, robot, etc. Hard real time operating system. These operating systems guarantee that critical tasks be completed within a range of time. Online Processing Operating System Online processing is the ongoing entry of transactions into a computer system in real time. The opposite of this system is batch processing, where transactions are allowed to pile up in a stack of documents and are entered into the computer system in a batch. Online processing is an automated way to enter and process data or reports continuously as use as the source documents are available. A good example of online processing is barcode scanning. When you buy a shirt at Target, the barcode gets scanned at the register. Multitasking Operating System The multitasking OS refers to a logical extension of the multiprogramming operating system, which allows users to run many programs simultaneously. It enables a user to complete multiple computer tasks at the same time. Multitasking is when one person handles more than one task at the same time. Examples include chewing gum while walking, sending emails during a meeting, and talking on the phone while watching television. Multiprogramming Operating System A multiprogramming operating system runs multiple programs on a single processor. If a program has to wait for an I.O. operation, other programs utilize the CPU in the meantime. These operating systems form an important and popular class of operating systems. Some examples are Linux distributions, Windows, iOS, etc. Multiprogramming operating system has ability to execute multiple programs with using of only one processor machine. One example is user, can use MS Excel, download apps, transfer data from one point to another point, Firefox or Google Chrome browser, and more at the same time.